blog ever. These guys are professionals. They're the best. What's up, geeks? Welcome back for another episode of Best Geek Vlog Ever, the weekly web show that proves comics can be more than just movies and television. We're your hosts, Brendan Toda and Ezekiel Gutierrez. Have you seen movies like The Avengers or The Dark Knight? Ever wonder where they came from? Well, they came from the pages of comic books. That's right. So join us today on our segment we're calling Comics Corner, where we're going to show you the best that comic books have to offer. So let's get started with getting started. If you've never picked up a graphic novel or a single issue, or either of those terms sound completely foreign to you, <laughs> then you have to start somewhere. So figure out what most appeals to you. I mean, if you're a fan of horror, or if you're a fan of action in television or any other media, then you're likely going to find something like that in the pages of comics. I started reading comic books just for the cover art. I went to a local comic store, asked the owner there, these are kind of the things I'm interested in. He had some recommendations for me, but I didn't care about any of those things that he said. I looked at the pictures and somebody who can't draw stick figures, I was taken aback by the art on the cover of these comics. So for months, I would go into that store, buy comics, and never read them. I would just <laughs> stare at the cover. I actually got my start uh, with comics when I was about seven or eight years old by going down to the bottom of my hill where there was a local comic book store as well. And instead of buying single issues or graphic novels, I bought comic cards. And yes, those are exactly what you're thinking they are. They're like baseball cards, only with comic book characters on them. Very geeky, but... Quite geeky. That's right. Comic Just cards. Just like oh, amazing. baseball cards, only with comic book characters on them, filled with stats. No rookie cards, but... I love that. So as you can tell, uh, no matter where you start, you're always going to find some way in to comics. Where do you go next? Well, of course, you got to find yourself a local comic book shop. Even in our own stories, our local comic book shop was very important in getting us involved again. I am a supporter and I've adopted the whole digital revolution of comics, but there's really nothing like going down getting that experience and walking out with a physical copy of a comic book in your hand. So now that you've decided where you want to start and where you're going to go, what are you going to buy? Let's start with something a little bit older. When I got back into comics after many years of taking a break on it, I remember looking on the shelves trying to find uh, something Batman. And of course, you're going to hear things if you're reading Batman comics like The Dark Knight Returns or Year One. My personal recommendation would be a story called Hush, which took place in 2002 to 2003, written by Jeff Loeb, pencils by Jim Lee. The story follows Batman as he uh, pursues an unknown newer villain named Hush as he's committing crimes throughout Gotham City. The main draw to this story is how many villains that they use. Batman has one of the most eclectic and iconic rogues gallery in all of comicdom. The art is stunning. This is just about as good a pencil work as you will get. I think any Batman fan, be it from the movies or from the television show or from anything animated, will enjoy this story yes. and will get you into comics and go, oh, that's why people collect these things. Yes. Since I've gotten back into comics, I've been trying to broaden my horizons. For starters, IDW is publishing one of the most fun things I'm reading right now, which is called Half Past Danger, which was created, written, and drawn by the extreme talent, Stephen Mooney. This is a story that seemingly could only exist in comic books. Half Past Danger is a subtle noir pulp adventure comic that takes place on a mysterious island in the Pacific during World War II. It's got everything you could possibly want in a story. It's got beautiful women. It's got guns. It's got ninjas. It's got Nazis. It's got dinosaurs. Our trio of allies, uh, the corn-fed American muscle, the beautiful British secret agent, and the washed-up drunk Irishman uh, have stumbled across this island where Nazis are seemingly utilizing the power of dinosaurs. Most of the other stuff I'm reading, especially from Image, is really dark and sort of moody. This is just the most fun I'm having reading comics. I'm flying through these books. I can't get enough. There are four issues out as of right now. Look at the look at the cover on this thing. It tells you everything you need to know. So those are our recommendations for comics that you should go check out at your local comic book store. Again, just get involved, get, keep reading, and uh, keep tuning in to Best Geek Vlog Ever because we'll do the segment again and uh, recommend some other things for yeah. you. Definitely more Batman for sure. It's giveaway time, folks. Woo! And as you probably know, we've been holding a contest to give away this poster of the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's right. We're happy to announce our winner this week, and it is... 
Congratulations, you are the winner of the Comic-Con exclusive Guardians of the Galaxy poster. So with the end of one giveaway begins the next, and since today's episode was all about comics and where to get started, here's a great place to get started in the pages of the Eisner Award winning series, Chu. Chu follows the story of a detective named John Chu. <laughs> who gets psychic readings from the food he eats, mm -hmm. uh, which puts him in a unique position as a detective who investigates murders mm -hmm. uh, because it's very easy to solve them, but he has to chew on, uh, on some flesh. Yikes. Yeah. So to be eligible for this giveaway, answer the following question. What is the weirdest thing that you have eaten? Cricket. You've eaten a cricket? I have, yeah. Well, I've like eaten Cold it. stone. Yikes. Is that weird? Yeah. Be sure to leave your answer in the comments section down below on our Facebook or at our Twitter. Be sure to have all of your submissions in by September the 8th and we'll be announcing the winner in two weeks on this very show. So that's going to do it for this week's episode of Best Geek Vlog Ever. Thanks for tuning in. To keep up to date with all our latest episodes, hit the subscribe button right below. New episodes are uploaded every Monday. If you want to catch up on some back episodes, check out the links here over on the side. And if you have a suggestion for next week's topic, leave it in the comments section down below. For Best Geek Vlog Ever, we're your hosts, Brendan Toda and Ezekiel Gutierrez, reminding you that every weekday is a geek day. <laughs>